Good Sunday morning, everybody. There would be the sunrise. Wasn't anything up earlier when I come out, so. But there's the morning so far. More wind yesterday. Hunk of flashing up there. It's been up a little more. Isn't that nice? Yeah. Let's see what we got up this way. It should be shining pretty good because I'm a little later. A little later with the film, that is. Everybody's in here waiting for me. Some of them are getting a little tired of being in here, but ah, tough. If they're in here, they're quiet. They're not barking at somebody jogging by or anything. And I had to grab me a new pair of gloves once I finally found where they got put, because I think somebody stole my gloves to work on fence yesterday. There's a pair there, but that's an old pair with holy finger, and I don't like welding with a holy finger. So last night, when Ben was here, we put those behind the valve to space it, hoping to clear where I was off a little bit. I wasn't really off, but, you know, piece I made, I didn't really take measurements. I just kind of seen the space I had to fill and made a piece to fit it, and Figured, okay, I'm going to have to drill holes, but then holes that were already in the cross members were close enough, so, you know, hey, I'll use those. They really were really, really close, but I needed to space it. I did some measuring this morning, so there's my spacers. For lack of anything else, and save spending time cutting little pieces. Those are 7 16 bolts. Or nuts. Duh. <laughs> Sorry, it's early, but it's late. I've been out here for two hours so far. Um, 7 16 is kind of a crap size. <laughs> Only a few things actually use them. So, when you got a bin clear full of those, that's what you use, and they're the right thickness for what I need to do. They should space it just perfectly. So, I don't know if the paint's eh, a little too tacky yet. We'll wait. And, uh, hey, well, Red Man there, he's only got like a day and a half of antibiotics left for him. Teeth they pulled out of his head. He'll be good. And poor Blue, he walked in there laid down, so I locked him in. He needs to still chill out. That's one reason they're still in here, because keep him from getting excited and running and let his leg heal up a little better. He went a couple of days without it wrapped up, and he was doing good till they got too excited one day and they all were running too much. And old whiskey, he just lays in the way. I don't know what Rainy's doing. She was behind me. She's probably laying on the other side now. Oh well. Hey, that's what she's doing. She's checking out her butt. She's going, man. She needs a mirror. That way she can stand there and just look in the mirror. Go, oh, wow, I got a nice butt. Now I still got to find a couple longer bolts. And of course, they're not the same length bolt either. One of them's three eighths or so longer than the other one to make it work. But as soon as that paint's dry enough that I can somewhat handle it, I'm going to get that back in and. Maybe I can get one of the kids to come out and give me a hand. It's kind of hard to hold that thing up there, get the bolts in and get the nuts on the back. That was kind of nice having Ben's help last night, but, you know. Uh, I wasn't going to finish messing with it last night. I was tired. It's been a long day, long, hot day. I don't know what it's going to do today. It was supposed to be hot today, too, which it probably will be. We made it down to, uh, when I come out, it was 45 can't see what it says from here now. No, it says 42. And no, the heat's not been on in the shop for like three days now. It's just the fan running, which helps at least circulate a little bit. And that's enough rambling, so let's see if I can get this done. A few hours later, after swapping bolts around and finding out I couldn't get on them and figuring I better put the inlet and outlet fittings on first, Gonna be interesting getting the rest of them. And yeah, I'm gonna have to bend the levers and I'll probably turn the two short ones around. 
these are going to have to get bent over because it'll work that way. But that seat ends up coming down. Oops. That seat ends up coming down to about here when I sit in it. So they're going to have to get bent over a ways. I'll make her work. But it's in there. And now, um, gentleman has built, built a bunch of fence for us before. He was able to make it out today to help us, so he's going to help us. Uh, biggest thing is getting the braces rigged up and together. And, you know, it all takes time, and he's quicker at doing that because he does it all the time. We do it the same way he does it. Because why? <laughs> he does a good job. I've learned a lot from the man over the years, and from his old boss. But I'm going to head up and. Get the auger since somebody took it up and left it at the far end, but we're going to start at this end. And I got to take that gate up with me too. Yay. So, anyway, that's where we're headed. I didn't take any video working on fence, but there's two brace sets there and a gate. And now you have perspective of where that is. It's the corner of the hayfield. Um, well, straight through there is where that hayfield splits in two. So that's the end of that run. And then there's another gate, 20 foot gate, goes in there. And the rest of the run goes to the east line. And all the braces are in. And the fence that splits the two hayfields. You got both ends of that done. And pretty much all the steel posts are in with insulators on them. We got a few that got to move a little bit, but. and let's see if we can zoom in on this one. A little fuzzy. Right there, the left half of that has been there. The right half angles to go over to the middle of the big hay fields. That's a new part. So, thankfully. The guy that we've had do quite a bit of fencing for us before he was able to come out today. You know, when you do that stuff all the time, it's a little easier. So, three of us worked on that. Mainly three. Number two came out here and number one finished putting posts in part of it. Well, the other guy and I worked on where that gate is. And... It's too hot. I'm done. This may or may not be the end of the video. Late enough that cows have been fed and they're all in here. I come up with a skid steer. I kind of wanted to get some video showing the auger working, but that's kind of hard for me to do when I'm sitting there in a skid steer with both hands busy. I guess my, my phone holder's in there, but I forgot about that. Right here, we'll get you some more babies. Huh, kids? Yeah. Cows have been in here beller and raising hell because we were out there and they want to be out there. A little heifer scratching her chin over there. That's Lena's calf. And that is the twins' mama. I think that's the twins' mama. Pretty sure it's 232 is her. It's either 232 or 132, and I think it's 232. Still a few in here. In fact, there's a long tail dead center of the screen right there. And she just had to open her mouth, didn't she? Yeah, both of those talking have calves on the ground. So, I don't know if we're going to get them out tomorrow or not, but we've got a lot of wire to run yet. There's, well, one, two, three, four sections of fence, all three wire, two sections together is a full quarter mile, so, and posts aren't rigged yet, they're all in and braced, but they're not rigged yet. Um, number one did get the dead end rig sets ready to go on, we just got the other end to do. Which don't take that long. She's, she's kind of new at rigging, so it takes her a little bit to get stuff together. I'll probably rig the other end while she's stringing wire. So, yeah. 
early day, but I was in the shop at 5 o'clock this morning, and it's quarter after 4 now, so I'm calling it a day. It's Sunday, right? Day of rest. Oh, here's another one for you. Most of the holes we dug, the moisture wasn't too bad, but it's also underneath, you know, about 4 inches of heavy sod. Those cow trails right there on that hill, at as dry as can be. Even the post, we've, we've had to put one post in up there, <clears throat> and even that post. The ground was kind of moist colored, <clears throat> but the top probably, I don't know, eight or ten inches broke up into damp powder. Beyond that, it was taking shavings out when I was drilling a hole in the ground, so... And all the brace posts are gone we had. Two rolls of wire. I'm hoping that's enough. And hopefully that's enough T-posts to finish off. So we want some barbed wire. It's right there. Come get it. So, hey, if this is the end, thank you for watching. Hope you've all had a great Sunday. And uh, honestly, I don't know I was going to look back, but I don't know if I showed. I think I showed that valve on the sprayer in place and ready to go. As far as it's going to get till I get some fittings anyway. And that's it. So, like I say, thank you for watching, everybody. Appreciate it.